the previous video, we created and constrained our, um, our rack with a slider to the mate connector, and we've done a Revolut constraint on our gear to our bearing. And if you've been watching this series of videos on gears, uh, you notice that we've been creating these kind of in empty space, um, just as kind of a demo walkthrough. So we have to line these up. So you can see that I'm grabbing and I'm lining, and I can see my bearing. I didn't quite hit that uh, right center point for that. I'm going to drop my gear. So if I was to do this, I would probably go back a little, and I want to drop this gear. And again, this isn't the uh, best way to do this, but for our purposes, for the demonstration, uh, it works. So now what I need to do is I need to. Uh, fix that bearing in place so we have something to revolve around. Now, something new, if you've been following my series, we're going to do the rack and pinion uh, relationship here, which you should see. And what we're going to choose is we're going to choose our Revolute 1 to our slider. And the distance in our setup based on the gear is going to be 3 inches. And then I can green check mark that. So now I can come here and I can animate. I'm going to do this as uh, reciprocating. And uh, I'm going to hit play. And we can see that my bearing works. Now, because I'm doing this as reciprocating, I'm going to uh, probably have to uh, change this because otherwise it just goes back and forth in that plane of one inch. So what I would most likely do is I would drag. Uh, this over where I should put my gear a little bit closer and I could have figured out an end and a start point to this. So for an example, I'm going to come up here to my uh, slider mate. I'm going to go to my animate and I can change my start and end value to do the length of the rack as well. I could also come to my revolute mate and animate this way. Uh, you can see I can do a loop, but the problem with the loop is once it's going to run to the end of the rack, it's going to stop or it's going to keep going and the rack's just going to be off of it. Uh, but this would actually be the drive uh, gear. So this is what you truly want to animate. Uh, but just for purposes of looks in this, the slider allows it to reciprocate back and forth uh, a little bit easier. So we can see that here.